Water Louise and London Charing Cross. So what I want you to do is, that when you see a building, just don't tell me I like it, you know, or I don't like it. You know, because if you say to me I like it, I don't like it, there's nothing we can say in return. You, know, like it's, it's you like it? No. You don't like it? So what? You know? What you do is that you need to say to me, I like it because, right? And this because, uh, if it's possible, it should really come from your country. And I will try to do the same. You know, I will say to you, look, uh, this building, I think it has a problem because things are out of balance. You know, it's too yin, it's too yang, it's too tall, right? Uh, and the main thing about feng shui is that we should feel, right, in context of our of the environment. You know, Chinese use the term ji ren. Ji ren means being in itself, right? Uh, and Chinese will talk about tian and ke yin, heaven and earth are together. So what it is that we are part of nature, and nature is part of God. So what we really do is that the environment we're looking at right, is part of us, right? and we are part of the environment. So your uh, judgment or your criticism should be based on these functional concepts. We're supposed to defend England during the war, right? They put it here now in this area. You know, when someone do this, what do you think would be the consequence? People decided that they would have a museum. I mean, as a, a, the river is huge, right? They could have put anywhere along the river, but they decided to put it here, right, in the desert here. Now. What would be the consequences in terms of, uh, of um, you know, perception, how you perceive it? And attackers would want to come up the Thames. This is before the Palace of Westminster. This is said just. Do not mess with us here. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, message. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so what I'm trying to say to you is that whenever you put an object somewhere, right, you think it's just something very casual, you know. But you've got to remember that when you play something, when you organize something, right, everything you do has a consequences, right. It's a, the, an object in here, right, creates a memory, creates a presence in your mind, right? And your mind, right, will also connect these things with all sorts of different things. And it brings out, right, your memory, your fears, or your longing, your worries, now, in immediate, you know. Because when I come in here, you know, I look at the battleship and I say, oh, a battleship, you know, in the middle of the city, you know, what does it mean? So it needs to be, someone needs to be defended, you know. There's, there's a war going on, right? Immediately, I think in terms of these things, I then I look around, oh, it's such a lovely day, you know, it's a beautiful city. Why do we have a, a battleship here? So the question I put in my eyes is a question of why. So, you know, there's, so you, you find that as you're lock, walking along here, right, there's a lot of things that disturb you, really disturb you. Maybe you kind of think, maybe you think about why, you know, how do people do this, you know. And then this disturb, disturbance, right? Uh, needs some kind of release. So when you actually come to another spot and you see a little bit of, you know, openness, a little bit of quietness, and, you know, you get this contrast, right? Now. And really, that's how a city works. A city works with contrast. You know? uh, the more dynamic uh, uh, a city is, the more contrast it says. But you have to be very careful. Some place, the contrast is so great that you feel irritated, right? Other places, the contrast is just enough you feel you come alive. Right? So there are contrast and contrast, right? And this is where the art part comes into it, right, in Feng Shui. Right? Try to stay, right, more or less in a balanced state. And, but where the balance becomes unbalanced, right, is an art. And how do you judge that, right? You judge that with the context and with the people. That's your right.
Yeah. What? No, it's yeah. true. It's, it's true. Yes, yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. true. It's true. It's true. It's called a testicle. It's called a glass testicle. You it's search it online. Glass it on testicle. Yes, yes. Hey, this that name. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. It's true, I'm not making it up. Are you sure? 100%, yes, I'm sure. How is that? Okay. It's, 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 on, it's, on, the, it's all over the web, the glass testicles. Yeah. It's polite, yeah, yeah, people no, don't it's talk true. about it. It's true. It's, it's true. called a glass <laughs> testicle. <laughs> 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 Do you know, all the research I did on this building, I never came across it. Yes, Okay, so... We are not making it up. Seriously, okay. you, I will find it for you. Pornographic if you well, look, look, what, look, in that case, why don't we go through exercise? If you if you look at this building and someone asks you to give you a nickname to this building, right? what would you say? I mean, apart from grass. No, it's got another nickname. It's also called the onion. Yeah. Ah, yes, the yes, onion. Because I'm feeling Okay, uh, onion. Okay, all right. Well, okay, I can I can understand the onion. Okay, all right. But I like glass testicle better. <laughs> Uh, you know, the same architect, the glass testicle and the gherkin. So, ah, okay, 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 <laughs> all right, okay. So everybody <laughs> orientates the same. They sit in a semicircle. Uh, yeah. That means the British are really so preoccupied by British. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll let you well, testicle on your own. Okay, uh, do you have a nickname for this? Helmet. I'm, Actually, I found it difficult to give a nickname because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a shape that actually difficult to associate with anything particular. I mean, onion, uh, yeah, potato. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bike helmet, maybe. What? A helmet. A helmet. A motorbike helmet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A motorbike helmet. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Or like some kind of uh, like a snail shell. Uh, snail shell, snail shell. Okay. Now, um, what uh, what is interesting was that all these images that you, you're given, right? An onion, a halberd, a glass testicle, right? Uh, they are actually uh, an image on its own. Uh, it's an image on its own, standing on its own, right? So now that give a interesting. Uh, uh, observation because if you look at this building here it's actually existed in isolation on its own right it's not really connected to any other building nearby you had all these buildings standing by here they're almost like paying homage this one in the middle sitting in the middle there you know, especially this one here is like you wrapping around the building you know so it's a building sitting on its own right so when you're sitting on its own right the image is that that gives us right, is is a, a, a building that that has a certain uh, isolation, you know. Then you ask yourself, is that an appropriate image for a council? Is a council supposed to serve the people, or is it supposed to be isolated? That's a question that also interesting one to ask. Was it supposed to be a council building? Howard, okay. can I just point out it's the London Assembly? Yeah. And the difference between the London Assembly and the Council is London's organised and local boroughs who serve the people. The Assembly does London overall. And I think the circular is appropriate for the Assembly because uh -huh. they hold the Mayor to account. Oh, so it's, not, actual, a, so it's not an administration building? Uh, no, no, it's, it's an Assembly. It's for the Assembly. So oh, OK, that's if different. If we could have gone inside, you could have seen the okay. chamber okay. and the Mayor and, the, and, and the advisors sit on a table and the others sit around him and it's not party it's not supposed to be parties it's supposed to be everyone sitting around the mayor holding him to account okay so where where so does where so where this person sits uh, in in terms of the direction yeah. he's facing uh, the, south the, yeah he fa uh, no he no the, the assembly when, uh, uh, can uh, i can i have yes a, he is yeah. facing south because the oh, the sense of orientation. We did try yeah. to get a tour Because these are, these, these, these are, are quite important in terms of symbolic, uh, mm -hmm. symbolic orientation. Uh, this situation here, you have the river, right? You have the bridge, right? No. Then you have the, uh, the building in here. Something like that. The building in here, something like that. Okay. So where would this orientation of the building be? Can you follow um, that? I think it, I've measured that's not one there. 
Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. north one, the, the ridge. Is it okay. north one? Yeah, it's uh, north one. Okay. According to the Friday Star Chart, when the time was built, right, uh, it has a, a money issue, but it went for a couple of years, right, and then it becomes prosperous. You don't talk to me anymore, do you? <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh. and try to contrast the two. Uh, the first contrast, obviously, you can see right, this building here. This building is built out of stone, right? So it has a very different feeling to when you look across the side here where everything's built out of concrete and glass. Right? So the first thing the first thing that you uh, you, you would notice right, in the evolution of building technology and building material right, we end up building most of the modern buildings glass and concrete, right? where traditional building material is quick, uh, stone, right? um, and, and you get a different feeling just looking at the material itself compared to each other. Right? Uh, that is uh, the function of this idea is for earth material, because you've got to do with stone uh, material, and this is glass is for metal. Right? So uh, metal have an expression, a correlation to reflecting, to cutting, to penetrating uh, money. Also, where stone has to do with more stability, uh, more things from the from the earth growing, uh, and so you, you get a you get a feeling that when you look at looking at the building, it has a sense of stability. Uh, looking at the building like that, you get a sense of Fibers, you know, are being cut, being uh, reflected, you know, much more jumpy in terms of, uh, of the feeling straight away. And it's very slow, very stable, you know, concerned with survival of the world and so on, like that. And it's reflected just looking at that. And the massing of the building is also different. Right? You get a sense of things building up, right, to a point, right? So there's a sort of broad base, and then it goes up and it goes to a point in here. In the middle of it, you have the important building. So there is a hierarchy, a very clear hierarchy of something in the middle, and then you've got the support structure around the building. It's very stable, very hierarchical, uh, a, 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 a very clear in terms of the classification. In here, everything jumbles up. You have things kind of competing with each other all the time, and they don't really talk to each other. They're kind of yelling at each other, right? <laughs> And, and they, they can, all sorts of things they say to you, across the year, right? So that, that, that actually is it. So, what can you say about this? When you actually look around, the Shah now becomes the most prominent, uh, prominent building in, in London. You know? And it's really basically a building. Uh, do people do you have a nickname for this? Shard. I think it's still called the, the Shah. 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 That's his official is that, name. Is that the Shah or the Shah? The Shah. 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 Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is, it's called, it's because it's like a shard of glass. And yes. there's other, do you like it? No, but me, I, I think it's a Shah. Yeah. From a function point of view, yeah. it's a Shah. Shah. A charge. Because what 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 is that? Chinese say, uh, say it's a stand on its own. There's no building around it can be related to, right? And it's very pointed, right? Yeah. So uh, the, the the thing is that the, the uh, it's 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 pointed to heaven. You know, yeah, like but somebody's uh, not pointing. I I'm gonna say 
um, I disagree slightly because maybe because I have some local knowledge as well. The area that it's built in is a very deprived borough of London. It's very poor and the, all the buildings around it are very earth. There's not many tall buildings. I think for the local area, I think it will help um, the stimulate it because it's the fire feeding the earth. But that's it could be, it could be, but the uh, but the thing is that you will find if that is the case, in the future, very in the new, very near future, there will be other building that will be could be as tall as this, and that will reduce the fire because you know when when the fire feeds the earth, it weakens the fire, right? So in the future, I wouldn't be imagine that there will be other buildings coming up next to the fire, and there will there will be another group of commercial building around it that competed with this side. So you end up with now with the with the Yin Yang, uh, the, you know, the south side of the river, north side of the river. The river is a total redevelopment area. And if you walk there, you see a lot of new buildings. In fact, the shop is just one of the many. Okay, and that's happening building, already. Okay, there is one it's building happening also already. a ground scraper. Okay. Instead okay. of going up, it just occupies an enormous yeah. building. Yeah. It's the largest building in London, even yeah. larger than the Google, the Google, or, Google uh, area. Is that the one you're talking about, Vauxhall? No, 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 just there, just here, the ground scraper. Oh, the ground, okay. <laughs> it's also, the shard is sort of like coming yeah, out straight yeah. from the railway station, yeah. London Bridge. So how do you no, think no, the water the element that is going sort of like, like... Well, uh, you're talking of millions okay. of the water element, if they if if they keep it there, right, it will keep the the, the situation stable. If they destroy that the water element, that will make it worse. That's really what it is. Because you need a, you need the elemental uh, relationships uh, to make something continue grow, continue to develop. If they destroy one of the, the the elements, that means it be it out of balance. So I I'm, I hope it doesn't happen that way, but you never know. Probably not. Uh, the, uh? Probably not. It's an important station. Yeah. I hope not, because if, it, if it, they, 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 the, the station, you know, all the transportation is the water. Yeah. But the water, the water gives a balance to the just the, the earth and the fire uh, 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 relationship. All right. No. Any, any questions? So, so, so we, you know, in a way, we can again. Using using functional terms, using traditional uh, you know five ele elemental relationships, we can we can kind of put them in a certain pattern of, 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 of comparison, right? Now, not not to say that it would definitely happen that way, but it will give us an understanding of what's going on, and this is really what the difference between correlative thinking and rational thinking. You know, we're not doing a financial, a structural, or political analysis. What we do is that we're using correlative thinking. Right? We correlate things to the elements, and then we look at the relationship. So we get a broader picture. But this picture is it's a kind of a picture. You know, it's it's like a it's like a reflection of the moon in the water, rather than we fly to the moon and and study the mineral component of the of the moon. That's the, that's the difference. And that's the whole difference between Chinese medicine and rest of it. These two things in here, right? Now, this is really, this is really stand on its own. It's, it shows the modern man's egotism. You know, we are, we like to be on, on our own, you know. Whereas in here, in the old days, right, there's a certain, yeah, there's a certain hierarchy, you know, hierarchy surrounding it. Here is, you know, I'm here, you know, like, so I, last test but actually it brings it brings energy <laughs> <laughs> Um, but they didn't, have, <laughs> they didn't always have this. They said they've been here since the beginning. Yeah. Has it? Oh, okay. It's always tied to that. Oh, okay. Maybe I just came here just after it was built and I didn't know. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Hello.
I, so what it does, what this, what this so-called energy does is to connect one pond with the other pond, right? Because, and, and, you, and you're, you're mindful of the way the water flows, right? Because you, your eyes always follow, and you can see very clearly the water flows in that direction. Right? So what you do is that you, 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 you associate with the direction of the flow with things moving from there to there. But this energy that we're talking about is actually a, a correlated energy. It's not something that uh, that actually uh, hurts you or harm you or anything like that. It's a, a sense of connection. Mm. We're talking about energy. We're talking about connection. And also the placement of the water. It's interesting. The architect has placed the water more or less in the middle right, of uh, of this walkway. What would you think if he plays it more uh, on this side right, or <laughs> he plays it more on this side? Rather than is that you know you can put the water anywhere along here right but if you put it on one side right you have more yin yang difference if you put it in the middle the yin yang becomes very even and put it on the other side you have more yin yang difference right so it changed the way people will use this place at the moment it's in the middle right so you have you have the the people walk on both sides of it right but when you actually put it on one side of it the water will actually become more stands out more it will actually be a stronger dragon because that would be yin yang difference. You know, how? You will look, look, look at this side. Because the water is on that side. You know? Because every time you look side, you look at this side. You are walking on that side, you're looking on that side. You know? So, you know, this is a, a more static solution, but you can have an even more dynamic solution by thinking about how far you want to put the water.